Hello everyone and welcome to another computer software is your friend tutorial. Now one of the things that you should do very often is back up your computer. Now in the past you've probably had to buy a backup utility for your computer. However that won't be necessary in Windows 8 because Windows 8 actually does come with backup. So go to the start screen and type file history and go to the settings filter and you will see file history right here you click on it and you will have the backup options so basically it's recommended to use an external hard drive which you can buy at any um, any store like future shop or uh, Burrow on Grow or uh, the source you know these kind of stores that sell computer stuff and technology type things you can go to one of those stores and you'll find probably a good sale depends when you go there don't be in a rush with these kind of things and essentially um, this is where you're going to start so it won't let me use this right now because I don't have an external hard drive plugged in well, I'm going to plug in an external hard drive right now, and I will show you how this works. Alright, so I've got my external hard drive plugged in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload this page, just so it will show me, the reload button's right here, um, and it will show me that yes, it has found uh, a hard drive that I can use. Of course, it's a 2 terabyte hard drive and essentially I click turn on do you want to recommend this drive to other members of your home group home group is of course the setting that was introduced in Windows 7 where you could um, basically access files on any computer as long as they were connected to the network and the way that they simplified networking is through home group so of course I'm going to recommend it to my home group um, because it just means that it's easier to find um, whenever I want to back up those computers as well so essentially what it's going to do is it's going to back up the libraries desktop contacts and favorites basically copy it and paste it in here so very simply you can run now and it is saving files and it is done it was that simple uh, now essentially if you want you can go to advanced settings and you can choose how often you want to save your files and how long to keep those versions well you can keep those versions forever or you can get rid of them when space is needed or on a certain time cycle um, you can choose the amount of size uh, you're gonna get the offline cache and you're gonna save copies of the files every hour or every 12 hours or every 10 minutes it depends on your preferences um, so now if we go back you can go to restore personal files which is where it will show you the recent saves that you've made and of course um, you can double click on the desktop and as you can see it shows you this is what it got from it and this is basically a file explorer um, oh, now of course I haven't saved anything on here so really there isn't much to back up <laughs> or to delete which is why it went so fast but of course if, if, it, if, it, if you did it would um, it, it would take a while so essentially from here you would just restore to the location and uh, this is their file browser for the uh, for the backups which I find is pretty cool you can also change the drive um, however it won't let you use a drive that's inside your computer you can exclude certain folders from file history by clicking add and of course you can go into pictures um, and of course if you have a folder in here or you can just exclude the desktop and it will show up right there 
save changes or not necessary. And that's pretty much it. We went through the advanced settings already. So this is how you back up um, files in Windows 8. Very, very, very nice. Um, and so as you can see, it's very easy, very fast, and you won't have to worry about a thing. You'll get notifications uh, about this in your um, action center, I believe, and maintenance. And uh, here it's going to show you the automatic maintenance that you do and file history is on and it will show you when you last copied the files and you can change the settings, restore the files or run now directly from there and done. That's it. That's all there is to backing up files in Windows 8. So if you like this video the subscribe button is right up above. Do you think you're going to be using the new Windows 8 backup utility called File History? you think it's useful for you? Let me know. Comment section is below. And of course, if you want to see our other content and if you want to be up to date as soon as we release something on the blog or on the YouTube channel or both, you can join us on social media. Those links are below. I hope that you do. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and add us to your Google Plus circle. And this has been another tour of features in Windows 8. If you have anything that you want me to look at, or anything that you want me to show you, or any questions that you want to ask regarding Windows 8, you can of course ask them. Uh, same thing with other topics. Um, I'll get around to other videos uh, soon. I'm just going to go through Windows 8 first. And try and get it with a fine tooth comb so that people out there who are curious about Windows 8 actually can see the inside look as if they're using it without having installed it and I think that's a really nice thing to have and I know that a lot I know that in the past when I was looking at operating systems I like to watch videos about them before getting it just to see what I was going to expect so this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial until the next time.